back. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Tay and K. Taylor here, and today I'm doing something a little different than what we would usually do. And um, I've, I've said this before in some of my videos. I don't like doing one thing. I do YouTube because I enjoy it, not because I have to do it. So because I enjoy doing YouTube, I like showing you things and going over things that I enjoy. So what we're going over today is my 2019 Indian Scout Bobber. I just replaced the slip-on exhaust that comes stock with it. We can get down right here. I changed out the big bulky things to the Radiant Cycles GP Shorty slip-ons or whatever, whatever they're called. Um, I did it last night. It's a different day now that I'm filming this part of it, but I put a bunch of it, filled a filmed a bunch of it and I'm putting that in the video so if you want to know how to do it you can so what we're gonna do is I kind of went out in the middle of nowhere this 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 beauty is loud but I'm gonna do some you know drive-bys some takeoffs um, I put in there what the just the standard stock exhaust sounds like if you want to look up what the stock exhaust sound like enjoy it but it's not something I really felt like recording because it's not uh, it's not memorable so uh, thanks for checking in guys stay tuned for a little bit I'll see you here at the end of the video, all right? All right, guys, let's get this turned on and see what a good startup sound sounds like. This is a warm startup. So after you've gotten these two loosened up pretty good, you're going to have to come around to the back side of the exhaust bracket there. And right there, this little guy right there is a 13 millimeter socket. So go ahead and take that off. Once you got that one out, there's another one right here. And there's another one that's hard to see, but it's right in this little divot there. You can see the end of it right there. Take those out. Once the bolts in the back are removed and everything, you've got to play the tug of war game with these guys. Uh, and there, there goes one, guys. These things are like 12 pounds by themselves. These things are massive and heavy. Now give me a second one. There we go. This big hunking thing. All right, so just for fun, let's see what it sounds like straight piped. That was really loud. We're not gonna do that again. So we're gonna sell the Radiant Cycles GP Shorty, which is pretty much, I don't think it's gonna be much quieter than it being straight piped, but the thing about this is this thing is 10 times lighter. Just to do a quick comparison, I really don't care about this thing. And just to do a quick comparison, you got the original one, this big hunking thing, and then the GP Shorty. Let's go ahead and put it on. The reason why I'm wearing gloves also, is this is just not leave fingerprints on the exhaust. So I think this uses a, uh, is it 10 millimeter? Something small. But we're gonna go ahead and loosen this up and get it into a good angle.
Awesome, so we've got the exhaust installed. Let's go ahead and start it up and see what she sounds like. Alright guys, so this has been a video of, uh, you know, my demonstration and, um, you know, kind of showing you how to install the Radiant Cycles GP Shorty Slip-On Exhaust, whatever they decide to call it. You can get it off eBay, you can get it off Amazon, you can go to their website and purchase it directly from them. It's like $120 or something like that, guys. I, I know the, the Trask grenades and stuff like that are fantastic, Vance and Hine are fantastic, but if you don't want to spend a crap ton of money, guys, he's the, if you heard from the video, it's pretty good. Now, a couple of the shots that I took, um, of course, I forgot to turn my lovely microphone on. In fact, when I did this outro the first time, I forgot to turn the microphone on, so... What are you gonna do? Anyways, guys, so I, I know some of you might be like, oh, why are you doing motorcycle stuff? You kind of done tech stuff in the past. Listen, I do YouTube because I enjoy it. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there like, oh, you have to have a second channel and do so. No, 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 no. Listen, I'm not making any money off this. I'm doing this because I enjoy it, so I'm going to do videos of what I enjoy, and that means anything and everything, because I assume, hey, I can't be the only person out there who likes this stuff, so if you wanna see more motorcycle videos, let me know in the description below. If you wanna see me do certain things on this Indian Scout, let me know in the you know comments below, guys. I'm, I'm looking for any and all feedback, because here's the thing. Even if you don't want to see it with the bike, you're going to see it anyways, because the next video up is going to be probably me replacing the, the stock headlight, because it's kind of crappy. I'm going to replace it with like a Daymaker, um, and we'll go over that, and then eventually I'll do my actual review of the Indian, because, I mean, obviously all you guys are like, what? Indian? I've been doing tech stuff. Anyways, I'm rambling too much. Guys, I appreciate you watching the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.